Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Let's Play Satisfactory. So we are back at the base, and so last couple episodes we had a lot of awesome adventures. Really enjoyed my time. I hope you guys also enjoyed yourselves. Uh, so we're back, and we got a few things to research. Uh, some will take longer, some will be shorter. Um, let's check out uh, the slug first, the yellow slug. Is this the yellow one? Because um, it's an upgraded slug, and it takes 10 minutes. Actually, hmm... I want to do short ones. I want to see what this is, actually. I'm sh assuming it's just food, but let's check out the bacon anyways. Uh, there we go. And it's going to take five minutes, so it's like, why not? Uh, so yeah, we're back at our base, and we're going to start doing some base stuff again. Uh, let's see here. We got these guys. I don't know if they're used for anything else but that, but I'm going to convert all these slugs now. Just so we have them, in case we want to use them. And uh, let's see, we'll just dump some of my uh, inventory stuff here. Probably just dump it all, honestly. And then just put your... Oh, look at that. Not all of it could go in there anyways. Um, could probably eat that bit of food in there. Uh, here we go. There you go. And let's get the basics out of here now. Because we're going to probably have to use some stuff for whatever. Okay. Oh yeah, this will be probably handy. And the hard drive will keep the hard drive, definitely. Now, I thought I got two hard drives, didn't I? Maybe I put it in the other... Huh, maybe it's inside the vehicle. We'll have to check it out. Okay. Oops, did not mean to sort, but whatever. Here's the yellow ones. We'll convert those once it's done researching anyways. Well, maybe not right away, but eventually. Uh, okay, so let's check our vehicle here. See what else we got. That might be important to note. Uh, so we got the industrial beam. Don't think there... It would probably say something about it, to be honest. So I doubt there's anything good with that. But we should remove the components anyways, because... This is not a mount. It's supposed to be for component storage anyways. That was more temporarily when we were out there. Ah, here's one of these things. And circuit board. More wires. And then I guess we can get rid of the oomph stuff as well. Excellent. And uh, I guess we can dump some of the oomph stuff in here. There you go. And how is this going anyway? Oh, I have another oomph thing. Oh, because of my hand. Yeah, that's right. I forgot I had the food in my hand. Get rid of that. What about uh, our research? So we were doing, of course, some research. Not research. The, uh, I guess, milestones and tiers last time. So we, we've, we have to tier one left here. And it's so close to being finished. We should just finish that off, first of all. Because it just makes no sense sitting on it. Um... So we need some rods. Where do you think my rods are, huh? Where are my heavy rods? Could have some rods here. I, I think I went through a bunch of rods recently, so I actually might not have any rods over here. Even if I think I have rods, probably don't. I guess things have uh, been going pretty well over here, you know, starting to fill up and stuff. We were out there for a while, and yeah, look at that. Lots of rods here. Plates are full, which is awesome. I don't know if I need any plates, but sure, why not? Um, yeah, so that's kind of nice, honestly. Power's doing okay. Would have been a little less till I started to take stuff out of it. I'll put this in and I'll check up top, see how our uh, new plates are doing, the reinforced plates. Oh, and then we have the other factory, which I kind of forgot about. <laughs> uh, yeah, on this side, okay. There we go. Milestone reached. To ensure optimal use of space, navigation, and tidiness, R&D have developed stairs and conveyor walls. Ooh. Conveyor walls. That sounds cool. Okay. Oh, wait. It's right here. I For some reason, I kept thinking I built it on a cliff. Awesome. This stuff will come in handy. Yeah, so everything's going good at this point. 
Well, actually, uh, we have those on me right now. What is the bottleneck over here? Let's check it out, shall we? So, when it comes to bottleneck, it would be screws again, right? Yep, screws are the bottleneck. So, to fix up the bottleneck up a bit, what we could do is replace this with the tier 2 belt. And then that'll fix the bottleneck a bit. It won't be perfect, but it'll bring it up a little more. It was probably sitting around 50% too. It would have been the same as the other one probably. So that'll increase it. So, And honestly, can't say no to that. Okay. And how about your bottleneck? You don't have one, I don't think, right now. So it requires 132 screws per minute, which this produces 130, was it, or 90? 90, okay. And then it requires 18 rods per minute, and how much you're producing? 15. So it'll speed it up for sure. Won't be, uh, it's not balanced or anything like that, but it's enough to fix that up anyways. Uh, what about other areas? Uh, so if screws are our concern, well, not right now. It looks like screws are full over here, but uh, yeah. Later on, we can fix that conveyor as well. Okay, let's go back and uh, check out some other stuff. Probably f do this research over here too. Woo. Okay, so finish that. Incoming Emily message. Alardum or bacon agarate can be added to the object scanner catalog after unlocking the new blueprint in hub tier one. Okay, and how long are you going to be? 12 minutes? Oh, this ore can be actually researched? I did not think that was a thing. Um, interesting. I don't think I got 25, do I? Was I smart enough to get that much? Probably not. Oh, damn. That ore could have played a kind of a role there. Might have to go back on off camera and get that. Uh, yellow slug. Uh, that or this one. Yeah, we'll do yellow slug. Okay. Yeah, because you got your yellow and these are... Okay. So we got that done. And yeah, we we're going to look at this. So we got tier one completely done now. And now we have tier two. We should probably start working on tier two, just touching it up, finishing it up, uh, just getting it over with. Oddly enough, rods are once again our, our shortage here. And that shortage we need to fix. So we'll put the rods we got in there now, and then we'll go get some more rods. Probably should just fill my inventory with the rest of the rods, just so it's a good start with them. Okay, take all. Okay. And then, yeah, so we'll put the rods in there. And there we go. Four minutes. Awesome. Reached. Buildings aimed at factory traversal, including several different categories of jump pads, can now be accessed in the build menu. Caution is recommended during use of these products. So jump pad would let you like boost up up here, basically stuff like that. Don't know how crazy the jump pads are, but we'll see. Um, so logistics are probably no. Uh, I don't know actually. Foundations no. Walkways. So you got all your different walkways. I guess we should. Or sorry. Oh, conveyor connections. Interesting. Like walls with holes for conveyors. Organization. Oh, here we go. So this is a jump pad, huh? And oddly enough, it takes power. We live in a world where you gotta pay for your jump pads, even. The power part makes me laugh a bit, but that's just life. There you go. Oh, this is gonna hurt us a bit, maybe. Nope. 
Looks like you can actually do it sort of safely at that height. Awesome. So, yeah, you can get up here a little easier, I guess, which is kind of cool. Which we already visited up here, didn't we? Did we? No. Don't think we actually did. So let's check how this is doing. So this thing has, wow, quite a bit. 76% efficiency. So where is our bottleneck? Is it screws at this point? It must be. 76, that doesn't make sense. From my looking at this, it looks like this should never bottleneck. Oh, there's, huh. Comes in waves, but that's probably normal. Yeah, I don't know why there would have been a bottleneck. Weird. Not my business. <laughs> That's the nice thing about your base. You can kind of like jump around and be a bit of a monkey. Okay. So we got our jump pad and we have to wait another minute and 20 seconds, unfortunately. Thought we'd be done there. What about you? Oh yeah, we did a 10 minute one on here. Yeah, this is the episode I'm kind of like doing more of the research stuff, so it's not like I plan on, you know, doing much on there. Uh, screws, biomass, just seeing if we're missing anything or anything's new. I don't think so. Okay. Uh, our vehicle, we probably should uh, deconstruct it and recreate it because we know it's not working well anymore. Oops. Tractor, here we go. And uh, let's go ahead and oops and uh, open up the thing. There you go, vehicle. And we'll just double click our fuel if I can find it in our chaotic inventory. There you go. Awesome. So what I'm gonna probably start doing off camera is maybe working on some other factories. Like we've built them the same things over and over and over at this point. So I might make one for some of the more complex things assembly wise and then do them remotely. And then I think like we'll do an episode where we set up a, an actual truck stop and we learn how to do that. So that's this is one of them here. And so basically it has two inputs and one output. And the reason, and then your truck, I believe, would stop around in front of here, I'm assuming. So the reason it has two inputs is one would be used for coal, one would be used for your material, and then the material you're outputting as well. So you have your fuel, which I assume just goes in here and fills up. And then you got your material that I would put in and out of it. So yeah, they hold quite a bit and you switch your unloading and loading. It seems very basic and something that's not uh, a crazy thing. Now I've never tried the um, pathfinding. It's something I have to play with. Maybe we can look at that in a second. So tier two, you got your walkways, you got your color gun. Um, I guess it really doesn't matter. Maybe the color gun because of what we got, it doesn't require sending it. I don't know. There you go. Oh, you're a launch. Never mind. It's a short burst though and you should still have another two three minutes right three minutes four minutes almost okay so if we go over here um basically you can go into record mode right so i've never done recording of course but i think you hold c down right so let's let's give this a try here um configure this i guess we can try to see if this works out just for trial and error anyway. So truck stop. And oh look, I see the container there, so that's kinda cool. Okay. And what we'll do is we'll put we'll grab some fuel for fun for testing the fuel part. And then we'll also do the other thing. So I don't know how this all works, but there you go. So you would do point A to point B, right? So I'm going to just put this in here and see what happens. So here's your fuel. There you go. And then I guess we'll just do the uh, unloading, loading, loading. Okay, so we'll do the loading for fun right now just to see what happens. 
Okay, so... I think the idea... I don't know if it does fuel loading when we go under it or slow down or anything like that. Oh, and we don't have power to it, so that also probably would cause problems. There you go. Oh. That was pretty cool. So that's full fuel and whatever. Okay. So now if I burn the fuel and come back, will you still load it? What happens if I'm off, like over here? Oh, it's still full. It's just for fun, the animation, it seems. Okay, so if we go over here, there you go, and what happens if we come in like right here? Yeah, we're already full. Okay, so it's just a proximity basically. So basically what you would do is you'd have your vehicle here, and it would go to, I probably should do it for a little closer, but it seems to have a really ridiculous range. So you just go like this, right? And this is your stop. So you hold down C, I think. There you go. And start recording. Like that, maybe? Okay. So you just go and do your thing. And then, you know, you can do whatever you think. Now, if you go too crazy, it might act up, but, you know. You can see it doing its thing. And then you'd probably come back. And then what you can do for something like this is you drive backwards, right? So. There you go. And then that's it. And then you hold C and you probably uh, finish recording. Sorry. And then you could probably do autopilot. Don't know if that'll work, but we'll find out, I guess. Oops, did not mean to do the scanning. Guess you can't hide the nodes when you're. <laughs> you need a vehicle for that. I'm interested to see how it works when it comes back here and reverses, and will it loop it properly? I don't know, but it should automatically fuel it at least too. So that's cool. Here it comes. Okay. It's going to work anyways, but I found a... Yeah, there you go. I found a glitch. So instead, do a loop. Do a loop around. Do not go backwards like I did there. Because then when it tries to reconnect to the pathway... Unless the pathway is small enough, the first one, I guess. Uh, it acts up, basically. So uh, something we just learned, basically. So walkways. Select milestone. And then we put the stuff in there. Look at that. And metal, metal, there you go. We don't have enough of you yet. There you go. There you go. Milestone reached. After medical consultation, additional buildings aimed at factory traversal have been added. Walkways can now be accessed in the build menu. Woo. Sorry, I get excited still. Okay, so we've learned, oh. The crystals on this slug can be harvested and converted into two power shards that function with current fix-it technology. 
Several buildings would be capable of performing over 100% capacity if infused. The derived blueprint is now accessible in Hub Tier 2. Can't overclock this, can you? No. <laughs> okay. So, um, yeah, you're doing your thing. So let's see here. So what do we got here? So we got the new walkways added here. Ooh, beautiful. And vehicles are the same. And then your foundations. You got your new staircases, of course. And you got your logistics and your power. Still all the same. Cool. Anything different? I, I mean, I don't think anything here should be changing, really. Oh, the color thing, of course. Um, that's new. This you probably have to do the research for one of them. Tier 2. Oh, yellow shards. So to do the power shard, you're going to have to uh, send it up. It's like, oh, you did everything and now you, you failed. So uh, let's see here. There we go. And what else are we going to need here? Oops. Oh, there's... Oh, look at this. This mushroom had one, too. <laughs> okay, cool, cool. We can do the mushroom anyways, because uh, the mushroom one should be an instant one, so... Did the mushroom go over here, I guess? Damn it, there's so many chests here. There you go. The bacon mushroom, whatever. And then, yeah, so we can do the mushroom on that one. Didn't realize we had one hidden. And then you got the yellow shard one, which we need uh, some more plates in those. Plates shouldn't be an issue, right? Because I thought we had plates everywhere around here. Oh, yeah, here we go. But the other guys, we have nothing. Okay, so we got to go more, get more rods. I might have placed them somewhere, or maybe we really use them. I don't know. We do seem to use a lot of the rods, though. There you go. But you know what? It's kind of worth it because we're we're working on you know training that kind of thing. So yeah, this thing is coming back and forth. Interesting. I wonder how you fill up the fuel. Do I need like a whole other truck stop to fill up the fuel, or I don't I don't know how it works with coal, or if it'll automatically fill it up. Well, I guess you use the fuel itself, but yeah. I do like how it backs up, but yeah, the arrows need to be fixed here. I want to edit this node. There, that should? Oh no, you came in forward! Oh. It actually flattened me. Okay. I don't think it actually did the backup. I don't think it knows how to do backup. That's probably where I screwed up. I thought it did, but starting to look at it, I don't think I actually did the backup. So, uh, Okay, so we'll get this one done. The one that we freaking screwed up here, which... As far as I know, that should just work. I don't think it needs to launch it, but I could be wrong. That before and things didn't require launch, so. Yeah. Okay. That's just so you can scan for it, right? And then tier two, you got these guys, so we should select this one. And we'll send you off, send you guys off. And then we need to get uh, some plates sent off. There you go. That probably will send it up, right? Yep. That's a five minute sending. Awesome. And then uh, Logistics 3 and yeah, Steel Production. So basically Steel Production is the big one in which we can just might as well send it up. Definitely not going to be doing Steel Production next episode, I don't think, because uh, I probably need more materials and stuff like that. But uh, why not we just unlock it now just so we can you know get it, right? So... Um, we'll do it right at the end of the episode. Basically, it's like steel production, and we get to see whatever that other thing is, too. Kind of an all-in-one. So it's just copper wire we need. 
So boom and boom. And there you go. So in five minutes we'll have that. Okay, so at least we know how this works now. That's really cool though. So you can just go around and delete the node, but yeah. There you go, and then we can uh, disable, and then clear path. There you go. His path should be gone. Good. So yeah, you can do it pretty easily, but I think the idea is instead you want to uh, do it a different. You want to do it in like a loop, like you want to go straight. You don't want to do any backing up. I don't think it was doing it. But crazy thing is, uh, oh, it's that guy making the noise. Crazy thing is, even with all that screw up in a sense, it still worked okay, which I was surprised. Like, I mean, uh, that's pretty awesome, so. Go on like a, a three minute adventure. So we know our, so that's our copper for now. I don't think we found another copper yet. We haven't on purpose either went for one and scanned for one and all that, is, of course, but then we have our steel production, or sorry, our coal production. Don't know why I said steel. Just wanted to steal it. And then, what is this? Is this copper or iron? Iron, I think. So look at this. We have more iron here. Now I'm thinking about it, it might be hard to do my vehicle idea. I'll probably attempt it, but uh, maybe for the output of some stuff, but it might, it might be an issue. Um, this is limestone, I'm assuming. Yeah, so there's a limestone beside the copper here. Funny thing is, or iron, sorry. Uh, copper, yeah, the copper one seems a bit more rare, but it's not like I need any. Oh, there's copper right there, too. Speaking of the devil. Iron and iron again. So there's two irons here and a copper and limestone all together. Pretty sure copper was green. Cuz it oxidizes like this is like in real life like if it's above ground it would oxidize so kind of makes sense. Cool. Oh crap. I was thinking of doing that but I'm happy I didn't. That might be a one way ticket to death. Okay. That is awesome. Oh, and there's more over here. Let's check out this. It looks greenish from here, so it could be copper again. Oh, this is blue. Oh, it's green. Wait, it looks blue, though. What the hell? Copper, yeah. Oh, there's a little artifact thing here. I'll just ignore you little artifacts. I'll eventually get it anyways for this little area. I'll, I'll need to, you know, hook up to all this stuff eventually, so. And like I said, I'll probably set up some of this off camera because we've done this together so much now. At this point, it'll be like, okay, I'll work on this and that later on. And, uh, yeah. It'll be more like I'll, I'll set it up and then we'll, we'll do something together with it. But uh, it'll be more like... We already know the components. We've already touched them, so I'm just going to set up some automation and leave it be, you know. There's a slug up there. But we're going back to our base. Okay. Oh, I like that slow... If you're far away, the LOD, I guess it like really turns off the animations and makes it slower so it doesn't cause the client to lag so much. But watching that come down was a bit horrific. The, maybe that's one thing they could enable go further, like that one machine, just because uh, you can see that further away and <laughs> it looks so bad. Okay, so we said we were going to do steel production, so here you go. Uh, copper done, cabling done, these done, this done, and there you go.
There you go. Steel production. Steel production unlocked. Foundry and improved miner included to ensure efficiency of new pipelines. A collection of new, more complex parts is now available for crafting. Pipes? They said the word pipes. What pipes? Uh, so Logistics 3 is next, and basically you need to use motors for that. And if we check over here, assuming we can still do those by hand. Oh, look at it. So you got these these new ones. I guess they just increase. Uh, I'm assuming it increases it. I don't really know. Or... Oh, no, you get two power. Oh, I see. So it's not like it gives more power. It just gives you more for the slime. So it gives you two instead of one. Oh, that is so cool. I get it now. I thought it was like a tier, you know, it gives you a bit more. So you get your steel ingots. Steel ingots is made out of iron and coal. Well, I'm going to have to find a whole new coal production just because I'm not touching my other one. You got your steel beams, which, uh, hey, we need those, which is made from steel ingots. Steel pipes is made from steel ingots. Pretty simple there. Uh, in case industrial beam. Oh, those are the ones. Steel beam plus concrete. Uh, stator, stator, whatever. Uh, that requires steel pipes and copper wires. Uh, motor requires rotors and then the stator uh, combined to make the motors. And then the heavy module frame, which is the probably going to be the more expensive thing out there. Uh, it requires five modular frames, 15 steel pipes, five uh, encased industrial beams, and 90 screws. <laughs> so basically what I'll be doing off camera over time is just starting to work on some of this, like um, just getting some automation going. Uh, what is this? Copper and iron. Huh. Why does the modular frame not seem like a good deal? So instead it uses six of those and six of those? It does not seem good at all. I'm just going to do this for fun. It doesn't seem Delta right to me. The hard drive has been salvaged and can be repurposed to unlock an alternate recipe. Salvaging more hard drives will provide additional alternate recipes. Oh, okay. So alternate recipes, basically. Anyways, thank you guys and girls so much for watching. See you wonderful people next time. Please don't forget to subscribe, comment, like, and we'll see you later.